hello friend welcome back again and in this video tutorial we will continue with the previous example right so here uh, we have made some entry in the properties uh, application dot properties file in a spring boot application right so some of the properties are mandated to enter you when you work with the real database like uh, this first three property you will have to enter mandatory but this is the optional one if you do not mention driver class name then based on the i mean available jars like uh, class uh, driver class will be loaded automatically this dialect class is also optional right uh, so if you would have worked on any orm tool then this is telling the uh, basically a spring uh, this is telling the hibernate or jpa what kind of database you are uh, add, uh, uh, using so based on the dialect that will generate the SQL query and HBM uh, DDL auto means update means uh, if table does not exist then uh, based on this metadata specified table will be automatically created in the your database if table exists if table already exists then that is not going to make any change that's the significance of update so there are a lot of expected value for this attributes we'll discuss uh, in the future video now so sql so as we know that uh, jp or or hibernate hibernate is the one of the implementation of jpa and uh, jpa basically or hibernate uh, uh, basically fire a sql query uh, on the fly for you right and that those sql query if you want to see on the console then you will have to make this flag as true by default it's false now if you want to see those sql query on the console in formatted fashion then you will have to make it format underscore sql true so these are the basically jpa related tags so that's why you can have a prefix like a spring dot jpa right and these are the related to the data source so you can see prefix you have a spring dot data source now uh, there are some of the properties is related to the is uh, tomcat connection pool if you go to the tomcat website then they have mentioned a lot of lot of properties for uh, uh, connection pool right so you can go through this or you can refer my uh, video tutorial there i have discussed about the different type of connect, uh, connection pool right in the jdbc video uh, video series so you can refer my that video now that's all about this property file now let's just let me sh show you the flow of this application after that we'll try to test each and every api now this is our bootstrap application right this is our main uh, uh, application uh, when we talk about the spring boot and this class is annotated as at the rate spring boot application so you, this is will be the starting point of our application so once you right click on the uh, pro, uh, this class and you can uh, uh, click you can run as a java application or a spring boot app so once you start your application then this will kicks the basically application and that will uh, basically start the tomcat server basically and uh, after that you can uh, hit the your uh, restful web service api so first of all we will talk about the controller this controller already we had implemented in the past video so on the top of that you can see api slash this is the class level uri and here this controller basically depends on the service class so that's why i have declared service class reference and i have given the at the rate auto wire so spring will try to find this uh, uh, bean and that will inject right so now first uh, api we have a create uh, ticket so basically this will create a resource on the uh, database right so basically from service we are making call to the from uh, so from controller we are making call to the service and serve from service we are here we are using the reference of DAW this will basically save uh, this ticket information into the database so that's the flow basically our service class is depends on the DAW layer reference and we have a uh, ticket booking DAW which basically extends a third repository interface and we have a basic uh, methods which is basically required uh, uh, to perform CRUD operation with any standard uh, RDBMS those methods are already available so even you don't need to uh, 
uh, you don't need to implement this kind of methods like if you want to save uh, if you want to save uh, information about the ticket in the database or if you want to delete if you want to read and uh, if you want to get information based on the id this kind of api is already available in this interface right so that will directly we can access right this, so that that's all about this api if you look into the controller then this is the this is this is the controller which supports for the post means this will create a resource on the server so if you send the i mean uh, ticket information json that will automatically convert into the uh, uh, java object right so that's the significance of the request body and that will make call to the service layer and by passing this ticket and service makes call to the DOM. so here we are using the spring data jpa so that's the uh, uh, concept uh, we are applying to save data into the database now next we are just we are we want to let me remove this unnecessary code so get mapping basically we want to read i mean ticket information based on the id id we are passing as a path variable and we are making call to the service layer service makes call to the database so if you look into the this will makes call to the database and find method that is already available in the uh, crud repository similarly we have if you want to read the all booked information from the database so that's what we have this method again this is read method so that's why get mapping now if you want to delete ticket information from underlying database then you have a delete mapping right so this makes call to the service service makes call to the DAW and DAW interact with the database and that will delete the ticket information for particular ticket id and finally we have a put mapping so that is basically to update some resource on the uh, server right some resource on the database so uh, we are just passing the ticket id as well as email address so for that ticket id email will be updated into the underlying database so that's all about this uh, restful api now let's try to test this api from the uh, chrome uh, uh, from postman so i'm going to test each and every api so right now uh, our database schema is called uh, spring boot db so here uh, I, I have a tab database schema spring boot db and if you look into the database there is only one record right so let's start with the I'll, I'll test very first method that is a creating some resource on the server so here already i have a sub uri of this resource and here i have a postman so postman i'm going to paste this uri and method will have to select post and click on the body and select this raw and this json i'm going to paste so we'll have to send request as a json object right so and if i click on the send then this will return as the created resource on the server sorry guys so basically i need to start the server i have killed the server but i want to start it so right click on the project run as uh, spring boot application so this will start the server basically now tomcat has just started on the 8804 now go to the here and let's hit the application and we were supposed to get the response from the server so that is loading now you can see we got the response from the server as a json so ticket id is 2 is created on the server if i go to the database and if refresh this ticket is created for this guy right with all details now let's create one more resource on the server uh, with this information this json so let's paste this, this, this json and click on the send and let's wait now ticket id 3 is created with this information if you go to the server and refresh the server then this resource is created on the server so create method we have tested 
now let's go for the read by id so i have already a url format to read resource from the server so go to the postman and here uh, paste this url uri and you will have to select the get method to resource so just we are sending id ticket id is one as a path parameter and we click on send then ticket id one is return details about the uh, ticket id what is return now let's test about ticket id 2 so ticket id 2 is getting returned so basically that's all about this uh, reading resource based on the ticket id so that this api also we have tested now let's test this i want to read all ticket information so that's all about this api so we have already uri over here i was supposed to be, this is the uri to read all resource and if i go here i paste it and click on send then currently we have a three tickets all three tickets is getting returned from the dot layer right ticket id one two and three now what else now we have a uh, something is called or delete ticket information from the server right so we have already uri delete ticket so this is sorry to delete we have this uri and here basically ticket id we are sending as a path parameter so i want to delete so let's go here you will have to select std method delete and ticket id one ticket whose id is one i want to delete from the server so let's click on the send and this is returning 200 ok and if you go and refresh the database then ticket with id one is deleted from the database right now we have tested for the now last but not the least update update ticket information basically we are sending ticket id as well as email address new email address and i want to update email address on the server so here i have uh, already uh, uri this uri and if i go to the postman here i will post this uri complete url of the resource and here we will have to select put to update something on the server right in the case of restful web service so if you look into the database then you uh, ticket id for two email address is this so i want to i want to update his email address so new email address i'm going to send current email address kk.s2017 at the yahoo.com so i will give the same with gmail so kk.s2017 gmail.com see if i and ticket id is ticket id is 3 so ticket id also will have to pass as 3 and click on send then saying that 3 is updated with new email address so if you go and refresh currently uh, refresh then email id has been changed right so this way we have tested update restful api as well so that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys this code i am going to put on the github and github location you can get in the video description if you have any queries or any questions regarding this example or any of the video which i have posted related then please do post below to the video so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial